Hey, Jeff, we have a question that's come in here at Loveology from a couple that's pretty frustrated. They keep having the same conflict, the same frustration, the same argument over and over again. What kind of suggestions do you have for this couple? Mm, I can identify with that question because I feel like I've had that a lot with my wife, Stacy, over the years, uh, largely because we approach things so differently. OK, so it's not always the same issue that causes the problem, but that issue you approach in the same way because of your differences becomes a repeated problem. OK, so the first step is realize we were attracted and we married a different person and their differences are OK. We've got to come to terms with that. All right. Number one, figure out your differences and the fact that you approach the issue differently. Great. So that's a starting place. And we can do that through a personality assessment, for example. We can, But the point is to recognize we have, God's designed us, we have this way of being that is as unique as a fingerprint, and so is our spouses. So this is good advice for anybody, whether you're having uh, the repeated conflict or not. But that's a great starting place. What's number two? Number two is realize that things don't just happen in two steps. Like another person says something, and then you react to it and you say something. In between there, your little computer, which is tied not just to your brain, but to your heart, your emotions, and your history, it creates a very quick narrative. And it taps into the narrative you've already created in life. So maybe your spouse says to you, oh, but you're forgetting all the other things we have to do this week. And you're thinking, she thinks that I always forget stuff and that I don't pay as much attention and I'm not as responsible. No, she just is a perfectionist that stays on task and needs to make sure that we're paying attention to all the things. She's not sending something to tell me I'm a jerk or that I'm weak or I'm a bad planner. But my narrative, it paints that picture and then I respond negatively. And then we turn a little thing into a stupid repeated argument. So number one is realize you're different. Number two is Realize that you create a narrative that runs through your mind and your heart real fast, and then it gets in the middle of that conflict. So pull back, assess your narrative, and come at them in a fresh way. So what did you mean, or help me understand? And by a narrative, you mean that kind of self-talk. We're all triggered to have these things that are kind of just ingrained in our head. Oh, here we go again. She always thinks this. She never does this for me, whatever it is. And that's and yeah. it keeps the perpetual cycle of frustration going because now we're looking for that negativity that we have registered in that narrative, right? We're looking for that and away we go. And so we're on this treadmill to, in, in psychology, we call it a script, right? It's just something that every couple has these. There's certain topics. We know it's like the third rail. You touch that, there's going to be an issue. So Jeff, that's super helpful. Those two things, you're saying that can help you get through it. Understand your hardware and how each of you are unique and your differences. And then secondly, to focus on what it is that you're saying to yourself in those moments that cause you to keep having this ridiculous fight over and over and over again.